folks, welcome back to Owl's Nest Solutions. Uh, it's Matt here. I'm going to walk you through a uh, process that I'm using in Google Sheets uh, to take this list of names and divide that into two separate columns. Uh, and then I'll go from there uh, because I want to compile email addresses. And so for uh, in my district, all of our email addresses uh, match the same pattern. And so, uh, but I didn't have those listed. I didn't want to spend time typing it out. And so I tried to find a quick solution uh, to do that. So to kind of show you from start to finish, I'm just going to make a copy of the data and put it right here. In order to split this out, I'm going to highlight the data. I'm going to go to Data, Split Text into Two Columns. Then it's going to give me the option of saying, okay, what is the separator in this data set? And so for starters, you know, in, in my data set, uh, I clearly see that the space is the separator. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and it's going to separate it out. All right. So now I have a first name and a last name uh, in each column, and you can kind of see where we started with that. So that's a pretty simple process. The next process that we're going to use is we're going to use a concatenate function. And so I'm going to start by hitting the equal sign. I'm going to start typing concatenate and I'm going to start that function. Now I need to add the two strings together and so the first string that I want to use is the first name because it follows a pattern. First name dot last name at the school district and so I'm going to do first name then I'm going to put a comma in there and I wanted to add a period in between so I'm going to put that in quotation marks first name dot in quotation marks Then I'm going to add another comma and I'm going to put James so C3 there in that next function then I want to add the rest of the tagline and so for us it's uh, it's at the county name and the 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 school district so I'm going to just use another comma, I'm going to use another quotation mark, and I'm going to say at your school dot, dot your state dot US, close quotation marks, close parentheses, and you're going to see that it even gives us that autofill function. So now we have a list of email addresses that come from the same pattern, first name, dot last name, at yourschool.yourstate.us, and that can fill all the way through if you have this list of names already typed out, which that was the situation I was in. Uh, I had a list of over 100 names uh, that was typed in this particular manner, and so I wanted to... to uh, get that into a functional uh, space so that I could add their address and uh, so this is the process that I use to do that. Uh, this works really great in school districts or, or companies where the uh, email address is going to be the same. Uh, it uh, doesn't necessarily work as uh, well if it is a Gmail switching to a Yahoo switching to an iCloud um, type of email address that you can run into some different problems but you could solve that by adding another column and uh, uh, maybe filling in whatever it is uh, on that uh, side and you could say um, at gmail.com uh, at yahoo.com at icloud.com uh, and it would just give you another opportunity uh, to concatenate those functions uh, into a, another category. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also click that like and subscribe button. Hope you have a great day.